In Unit 2, Logical Reasoning, you will create a project that will demonstrate your understanding of conditional statements in their various forms. And we'll be looking at the truth about advertising slogans. So you're going to choose a company brand and find one of its slogans. For my sample, I've chosen McDonald's. You'll choose something else. And the slogan is, I'm loving it. And we're going to take those words of the slogan and turn them into an if-then statement. That will be our conditional statement. So if I'm eating at McDonald's, then I'm loving it. And now we're going to write all the various forms of this conditional statement, such as the converse. So you need to be aware what's the definition of a converse and how do I word it correctly with my slogan. The inverse. the contrapositive, and the biconditional. Okay, now we'll ask you to examine the truth value of each one of these statements, starting with the conditional statement. We are going to assume, or at least I'm going to assume for the purposes of my sample project, that this conditional statement is true. If I'm eating at McDonald's, then I'm loving it. In other words, I cannot find a counterexample to disprove this statement. Another way of thinking of this is there is nothing on the menu at McDonald's that I'm not loving, right? So if I'm eating at McDonald's, then no matter what I'm having, I'm loving it. So this is true. All right, now let's consider the converse, which is where you switch the if and the then. If I'm loving it, then I'm eating at McDonald's. This is false if you can find a counterexample. Aha! I happen to love Wendy's baked potatoes. So that is a counterexample because if I'm loving it and I'm eating a Wendy's baked potato, then you know what? I found a counterexample because I'm not eating at McDonald's. So in my case, my converse is false. Now what about the inverse? If I'm not eating at McDonald's, so now that hypothesis must remain true, then I'm not loving it. Well, there's an example of a thing that I'm, I'm not eating at McDonald's, right, if I'm having a Dairy Queen blizzard, but my conclusion is false because I am loving it. I love Dairy Queen blizzards. Therefore, my inverse is false. Now, the converse in my case is an interesting example. It says, I, I meant to say the contrapositive. And this is when you're negating your converse. So if I'm not loving it, so if I'm not loving it, I'm not eating at McDonald's. There's not a thing on the menu at McDonald's that I could be eating that I'm not loving, right? So therefore, this particular thing, I can't find a counterexample to disprove it. So my contrapositive is true. The biconditional, your biconditional is true because this is what we call a conjunction. Both your conditional statement and your converse must remain true. But in my case, my converse was false. So my biconditional is false. So here's a summary of all of the statements of the I'm loving it slogan. Okay, now in my project, I thought it would be interesting to look up the history of the slogan, and I tur it turned out it, um, this ad campaign launched in Germany uh, with just three simple words, ich liebe es, and that translates into I'm loving it. So the American companies decided to use it, and it's been popular ever since. And here's my take on the slogan. This is just my personal opinion. I feel like it's really catchy. It's doubtful, however, that I would go to McDonald's simply based on that ad slogan alone. I had history with McDonald's before this slogan came about. And finally, my references, uh, my images I got from McDonald's.com, and that tidbit on the history of the campaign came from this uh, PDF. 
So, have fun with your project. You can make a PowerPoint, you can make a flip chart, you can use Prezi to do a web-based slideshow. Um, you can make this project your own. Have fun!